What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing how we like to beat man-to-man -man coverage from the New York Giants offensive playbook. Now, this play will beat more than just two men under, but two men under is a very powerful defense. And on this specific play, we like to combine a series of routes where every, almost every, if not every, route on the field beats two men under. Now our base play, to quickly recap the other formations that we've covered so far in this offense, is the shotgun normal wing New York, the giant slot trail. We've talked about how that play does a very good job at beating two men under, a combination of a lot of other zone defenses. It's a very good base formation as well because we have the halfback base and the bubble screen and all sorts of different things we can do from that formation. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how we like to beat man from the shotgun wing trips week New York Giant formation. The player we're going to be utilizing to beat man-to-man -man coverage uh, is the Giants slot wheel. It's one of my favorite plays in Madden 25 uh, because of the two wheel routes and the delayed drag route from the tight end that you get on this play. So how we like to set this up in order to beat man-to-man -man coverage is we first want to take Darren Sproles and we want to place him on a streak pattern. You see this angled streak is going to go to the left and then cut to the inside of the field. The only other thing that we want to do is we want to motion Colston uh, to the left. And as you see, it's going to bring him all the way across the formation on this little route right here. Now at this point, uh, you see that Colston's route is going to be a kind of work like a pick and rub, and so we're going to motion snap him back to the right uh, a few steps here. So we motion snap him back to the right. Um, oh wait, my bad, I forgot that his route actually, uh, unfortunately, it's going to sit. So we're going to need to snap him while he's coming across. So right about the time he gets to Kenny Stills, I'm going to snap the ball. My first read is Kenny Stills on the user catch option. As you see, that's very effective, uh, and it's been very effective all throughout the year. Then my second read, as far as man-to-man -man coverage goes, is going to be this route to Darren Sproles out of the backfield, pass lead down to the inside. Unfortunately, Darren Sproles uh, doesn't react there. Um, one quick note is another thing that we can do with Marcus Colson is put him on just a regular in route. And uh, that will just save us some time here. But you see this... Um, Sorry about the vibration there, but you see that this regular in route uh, should do a pretty nice job at beating man late on in the progression. But there you go back to Darren Sproles route here, and you see how his route does uh, a pretty good job at beating man man coverage. And then our third read, Lance Moore's uh, wheel route here, is going to do a good job at beating man when it cuts up field. And then our fourth read is going to be this in route in combination with this drag. As you see here, it does a pretty nice job at beating man. One thing also you can do with this route is put it on a smart routed in route, uh, just to get to go a little bit deeper uh, so that the drag doesn't run into it. But this drag, when it releases, is really effective at beating man. Uh, some guys like to put Jimmy Graham on a zig route, and uh, I have no problem with that as well. If you want to hot route him to a zig, uh, the zig is very effective as well uh, from this formation as far as beating man to man coverage. Now, how is this play going to fare against the cover three? Well, we're going to use the same reads and the same hot routes, but we're going to obviously have different players that are open. Our first progression, this wheel route, is not going to be as effective against cover three defense. Okay, it's not going to be as effective. Now, it can be uh, caught, but it's just not as good. Here, we'll take a look. Pass lead up and then you can cut it off like that and you see that's a viable option but it's a little bit later on in the progression and it's it's accounting that you know the components gonna have a flat not a purple zone out there so uh, just kind of a lot of things we have to account for but you see this uh, little streak here to the burning back is still gonna be very effective and another thing that's gonna be very effective is our our fourth read on this play uh, this deep in route uh, to Marcus Colston. And this goes back to uh, part of the reason we like to put the drag, as we sometimes like to put the drag at, uh, and change it to a zig route. Is It's going to do a really nice job of holding down the yellow zones from the cover three to fit in the in route in behind. It. And then real quickly, I just want to show you a couple of other progressions here. So um, this R1 route against the cover three, uh, pass lead down to the inside, click on. You can make a user catch opportunity there as well. And then one final note is against the cover two sync. And the cover two sync defense, 
uh, this Rat to Kenny Steals is going to do a pretty nice job at uh, clicking on and becoming a user catch. But once again, you want to be noteworthy of uh, one thing to be noteworthy of is the catch in traffic you're going to need to have it be effective. Uh, that in route is still very effective against Cover 2 Sync, which is why I have it out there. Um, and then also, this route to Darren Sproles is still pretty effective. Just a little sit rail under, underneath the zone for a couple of yarded, yards here. And then finally, this route to Lance Moore is once again a nice user catch option. Uh, pass lead, and you want to kind of cut it off there. Uh, that time the safety did a nice job at, at beating me to the uh, inside position. But let's see if we can't maybe get this for the fans at home. And that was a completely terrible throw by Drew Brees. Uh, he threw it about 15 yards in front of my receiver. Um, but let's try this one more time. And I just really like wheel routes in general. Uh, I like the ability to, to beat the flat against the zone blitz, but then also have the versatility to beat man coverage on the cut-up field. So uh, I guess this route to uh, Lance Moore is not as effective in the cover to sink um, as it is in the cover uh, two man under. But it is, it, it, it is decent. Um, one thing, again, that you might note, though, is it's not – 100% like the in route normally is against the zone as I'm having some trouble here sitting it in. One thing to also note is on current gen, if you're playing on PS4, or excuse me, if you're playing on PS3, um, that little delay drag is a lot more effective than it is on PS4. Um, as you see here, it's really hard for Jimmy Graham to, to, to kind of get out and, and kind of do something, so uh, definitely want to be cognizant aware of that. And I guess this route to Lance Moore is not as effective against zone as it used to be. But you see, it is still pretty consistent. Um, it is still pretty consistent against man coverage. Uh, if I could get my user catch down. Uh, but you see, you do run the risk of the catch tackle, which is why I personally like the wheel route on the, on the left side a little bit better. Uh, it's more like that one out of the Arizona playbook, uh, the play giant seams. And let's see if you can actually do that. Uh, let's see this real quick. Okay, so it doesn't work. I was going to see if the fade route worked, but as a, as a man beater, guys, this play is really good, and this formation is just really good in general. One thing that you can do with this is you could drag route Lance Moore, zig route Jimmy Graham, motion Lance Moore in two steps, snap the ball, have a nice little uh, pick and rub of an underneath there, and try to hit him like that. Um, you can maybe put him on an in route. All sorts of things you can do to get crazy here at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, but it all stems from this formation. And I really like to start with that play, giant slot wheel as a base. Thank you for your time. If you found this video beneficial, if you could do me a favor and we share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and leave a like waiting below, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for your time, and be sure to check out more of our Madden 25 content. We like to post about four videos a day on this YouTube channel. Thanks for your time.